Hi Capricorn, this is Mary Chino, my channel Triloka. I'm using my Tarot Illuminati detect to see what messages or what story wants to come through this week. So I already pulled out a five cards. We've got our Alchemist, which is a magician. The Ace of Cups as a second card. Center of the reading we have the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Wands in reverse. And the last card is Queen of Cups. Behind the deck we have got the Eight of Cups in reverse, okay? Okay. There is some kind of disappointments with regards to somebody. Okay, Capricorns, you feel somebody has um, is not coming back. Okay, not only you've lost this person, like they might have walked out on you, you have lost touch in such a way that you don't see them coming back okay and uh, i also want to say some of you might be dealing with a water sign with the queen of cups mm, as a last card in your reading okay you had something really good which was going on between the two of you i also wanted to say when i looked at this card the ten of pentacles you cherished this woman Okay. There was this fondness about her. Okay. Uh, you were protective about this person. Whoever this queen was, you you felt you wanted to protect her. Okay. Like she is your child. Okay. Maybe you are of the same age, but it, the energy which is coming out, you looked after her. Okay? Yeah. She find she found you as somebody who's who could protect her from everything. Okay? And you like to possess her with whoever this person was but again one more thing this person was um, whatever you had with this person it was a little divine like whatever you had with her felt divine okay there is this purity about this person. Whoever this queen, this queen can be any sign. I'm just saying water sign because it's a queen of cups. Okay, this could be somebody whom you're dealing with who is very sensitive, emotional, etc. 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 You felt like you protected her from everything. Okay. She has this childlike energy about her. For some reason, she comes out, or you felt she's innocent mm -hmm. with the dove up here. Um, her energy is pure, very innocent. Okay, you had it everything, you know, handed over on a platter. Just what you wanted. Just what you wanted for your future. Yeah, you cherished this person. But something changed. Something changed. Two of Wands in reverse. I want to say, oh. With this card, this person in the card has his chin up, okay? Even if he's holding one staff, he's somebody who's very adamant. He has his chin up. So there is something about pride. Even if this person loses everything, 
in his life everybody leaves his side he is still not going to break down at least he doesn't want the others to know that he has lost everything he is helpless no he will just hold his head up and fight it out okay whatever is coming he will face it head on okay so that is an energy which is coming out of this card but it's in reverse it's almost like whatever you had in your hand okay there is this element energy which is coming through that might be the reason why you lost on this person whom you really cherished okay it need not be you it can be the queen who could have been adamant okay who is done <sighs> who's done with offering if you look at this card she's holding on to a cup okay she's holding on to a uh, to a cup okay and this cup is overflowing i would say this queen has given and given and given okay she literally drained out whatever she had to give okay whatever she was holding on to it she gave freely She gave it freely such that her cup is almost empty and there is nothing much to give. Hmm? There is nothing much to give and I also want to say there was some kind of player energy which was going on. in whatever these two people had between them with the alchemist the magician uh mirroring the 10 of pentacles and the queen of cups somebody was playing okay there is a player energy somebody being a little manipulative how things should be you know going by the book not a strange This is like somebody who was playing their cards right. Okay? I don't know whether I'm speaking to the Capricorn right now or I'm speaking to the other person, to the cross watcher. But take it how it suits your situation, okay? Somebody was playing. And it's almost like a predictive energy which is coming out from your reading. Like if you do this, this is going to be the reaction. and it has to go by the book okay your situation is planned out whatever you had between uh, the two of you is very much planned it goes by the book okay uh, it is not exactly pure when the magician is uh along with the ace of cups so there is this Okay. Okay. Um You're actually weighing how much you give. Okay. If I love somebody, I will give all in. Okay? And I wouldn't, you know, be saying, yeah, maybe I will be. Okay. Let's put me out of picture because I'm not the best example. Um if somebody is uh so in love with somebody okay they wouldn't be like calculating oh i give this person a birthday gift okay he has to return me a birthday gift that is that is very calculative that is that is uh you know selfish okay you are not all that pure 
okay bad example but i hope i'm trying to make sense okay um let's say in in friendship okay between best friends so we go out sorry we go out for the movie okay so i pay for the movie and let's say i pay for uh the popcorns or anything okay the snacks during the movie okay so next week when i'm going with the same person again for the movie i might expect them to pay hmm? and if they make me pay again i will have that little grudge inside me sometimes i would just say i paid the last time you have to pay this time okay so you make keeping tabs okay that is what i want to say you're keeping tabs on how much you've given and how much you're getting i can be all the examples but finally they gave me that uh they gave me the word you're keeping tabs on how much you are giving okay uh it's almost business it's almost business like in this relationship whatever you're giving if it is overflowing you're being very calculative you're making keeping tabs you know you're literally uh, making a ledger out of it you know on this date i bought him this gift on this date i paid um uh, the lunch paid for lunch for both of us it's like tabs on something which you did out of love is it love then if you are actually making a business out of it no that's a weird reading but this is what i'm getting somebody who sits and calculates how much is uh, being given and how much is being received okay and somebody uh, who is realizing it is not working out there is a new uh, there is no future they don't see a future with this uh with this relationship okay they don't see it happening at least not anymore okay that might be the reason they walked out so there is this calculated approach of uh you know uh you're not getting back what you expected okay and um you don't want to be in such a relationship anymore okay yeah because when i broke the deck i got the sun card i also want to say you're waiting on things to clear up so it feels like nobody there was no balance okay it, it came out in reverse six of pentacles in reverse just what i was speaking here there is this imbalance in how much is being given and how much is received so six of pentacles in reverse so there is a clarity and you're waiting for things okay uh, because you realize what is going on with this imbalance you want another chance okay maybe they have to do something about it but uh, you walk you have walked out and maybe capricorn i'm speaking to you somebody has walked out uh, walked uh, away from you okay and uh, i see you have waited so much and you have got some kind of a realization at how you were treating them okay how there was an imbalance in this equation how you you know neglected them or you know maybe you didn't realize you were doing that until and unless they were done okay they they were done they were like they gave up hmm? they gave up on what you guys had between the two of you they became a little smart okay uh this is not exactly um yeah you know, a manipulative card no i wouldn't say that 
Again, Queen of Cups, to an extent, she was giving so much. When she realized nothing was being given back, she started looking at the ledger. Okay? And she realized it is not worth it. Okay? And she walked out. She walked out. That made you realize this is what you have been doing to this person. There might be always a reason for somebody to walk out on you, right? So that made you think, not just think, you want this opportunity for this, um, you know, uh, to get back with the person who walked away from you and you want it to be balanced this time, okay? If it was only that person giving way too much and you weren't uh, reciprocating equally now you're going to make it balanced okay the temperance has two cups you're going to make it balanced okay you want a chance in it i think i might have read too much this queen of pentacles you find this person perfect for you okay whoever she is okay earth sign again here behind the deck uh, king of pentacles queen of pentacles you you see this person is just perfect okay but yet she walked out on you and you are not happy about it with the king of cups in reverse it is disturbing for you that this person actually walked out on what you had okay you had a pretty good solid something which was going on as i said you found this person very innocent, you found this person very giving, you found this person very, um, you know, like a child, okay? You wanted to protect her, even if she doesn't want the protection, you wanted to, you know, protect her from the world. That was what I was, uh, you know, seeing from this card. You wanted to grow old with this person somehow. Wow. It is getting hard for you. Okay, because she is turning out to be the Queen of Swords. Okay, she's, I feel like the other person whom you're dealing with, whoever this Queen is, taking, um, taking the characters of a Queen of Swords who is icy cold. Okay, yeah, it is a little difficult to approach a Queen of Swords than somebody who is emotional. So you need to be very careful with this person because she has a sword in her hand. Yeah, You want to heal the situation with this person. I think I'll stop here. I'm being too kind with you guys reading back into the deck. Okay, That shows me too much of the story. Unfair to the other, uh, other, other signs. So we will stick with just five cards. Although I could just go on. Okay, so what do we clarify here? What is this two of wands about? Two of wands in reverse about? Seven of pentacles, you are, you're waiting, man, you're waiting. The fool card, you better stop waiting and jump off the cliff do something about it if you want this person back in your life do something even if it seems foolish give it a try because this is what you're losing out on it's worth it okay being foolish rather than sitting and waiting okay for things to just you know happen if you're losing out on something like this and something on something like this which feels a little divine okay don't sit and sulk don't sit and wait jump off the cliff do anything foolish initiate something although you feel a little okay doesn't matter can you tell me more fire swords if you feel like yeah you're fighting a battle let go of all that you know perceptions in your head but you know what will she think you know 
feels like it's cold. You're not talking anymore. She has walked away from me. All that blah, blah, blah thoughts. Chuck it. Be the fool. Yeah? Don't, don't bother about the consequences. That's my advice to you regards to two of one situation. If you have been sitting in your corner and waiting for things to work out, that's not going to work out. Okay? If you're waiting for things uh, to manifest, you got to do something about it. Do anything. Just anything. Okay? One step forward is better than not doing anything. Hmm? Fire, swords, whatever stops you. Okay? Fire, swords is all about intellect. Okay? Whatever is there, the conflictual energies which is going on, uh, uh, conflictual thoughts which is going on in your head. Like what if, what if she you know, rejects me? What if she ignores me? All that crap which goes on in your head. Okay, and you're wondering. Okay, you're sitting and wondering what is the possibilities. Okay, and might be she will uh, make you feel humiliated if she ignores you. All that, you know, buzz which is going on in your head. Ignore it and do something about this. Hmm? Nine of Pentacles. There's a she. She is. She is happy in her own situation. Okay, she is very much. Even if you are there or not, she's okay. Hmm? I also want to say she's juggling. Okay, the situation. She has walked out on you. She's not going to do anything about it, but she's sitting and juggling. She's not completely over with you. Okay? Hmm. But this just flew out. If you, I, I don't know if. It showed on the camera but this just flew out but she's not happy i just said she's all happy in her situation blah 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 no she's not happy she doesn't like her current situation she doesn't like um you know being parted from you yeah but she's waiting she is also waiting okay for somebody to initiate you be the fool that will fix the problem. Can you tell me more about this? Stop waiting, okay? Stop waiting. Queen of Cups. Just confirming what I was thinking about. This woman, whoever this woman, is unhappy. Unhappy with this situation. The two of wands in reverse, she is not happy. Is there anything else? Because she doesn't see a chance, okay? Um, yeah, she doesn't see she can come back unless um, unless and until you make a move. And uh, you know, King of Swords and Reverse is like she feels you have been um, very insensitive towards her, okay? You making her wait has uh, made the she has made the conclusion that you're being an ass can you tell me more ten of wands it's difficult for her as well this being a part phase is difficult anything else please Yes, start small. There is still hope for reviving the situation. You just have to be, you just have to take a move. How much of a small it is? Send her a message and it will come back to how it was. Okay, we can start from there. Just send a hello. How are you? It's been warm. Anything. Anything which feels foolish to you, it would be the start. It would feel like something which you can build up on. Yes, please, I beg of you right now, with the Six of Pentacles, all you got to do is offer something, okay? Something which will make it 
you know something small which will get bigger in time but you need to make this small move otherwise there is no hope this small move offer something just like i said a hello is good enough a starting starting point okay if you sit and wait like this if you sit and wait like this for her to come through you will be losing her okay this this eight of cups in reverse is going to be permanent okay i'm tired this is marisha you're my channel until next week bye